if you use Arch Linux, you will probably want to access the AUR or the Arch Linux user repository. Basically, the the AUR is just a collection of packages that are not available on the official repositories of Arch Linux, um, and they are maintained basically by any user, and they're not officially supported. But you know, in most cases, they will work. You know, unless some people don't you know package things right. But in general, I'd say through my experience, they overall work pretty nicely. But just always be careful which packages you you get and from where you get them because uh, again they're not you know officially supported in any way by the official maintainers of Arch Linux. But so uh, to access the AUR, you can well there are two methods. So let's go over the first one. So you can go through your web browser, right? If you go to aur.archlinux.org, it'll take you to this web page. And here you can see uh, there are a bunch of packages, over 2,000, right? And if we search for one, let's search for RPCS3. Uh, it'll bring us these packages that it's found. And these are just different builds, right? And these are all, again, maintained by uh, different users, not uh, the actual maintainers of Arch Linux, right? So if we were to click uh, here, right? This gives us some details, dependencies, um, uh, you know, the maintainer, and then the packager. Uh, and it's really nice. It'll tell you if it's, you know, out of date or not, you know. But uh, anyway, to install this, right, we would just uh, copy this link, and you can copy the, the git link like that by just clicking it. If we open the terminal, we can say git. Um, wait, let's go into and then do a git clone go in here and it will begin to download this uh, this package so if we cd into rpcs3 uh, right. we can install this package by doing make pkg uh, si now I won't install this package because it's actually a really big uh, package but because it'll take really hours on this uh, machine I remember on my uh, 12 core 24 thread uh, Ryzen it took maybe an hour or so I don't even remember I stepped away from my PC and I was kind of surprised but it is a big binary but uh, once you you find your package you clone into it you can install it using this command now uh, maybe that's a little bit I guess annoying having to go through the web browser so there's another option if we go back here um, I think I still have it so there is a sort of wrapper it's called which goes around Pac-Man and it's called EA and there are a few others but this is the one that I prefer using right so to install it we would do a make pkg si and you would get this by going here um, on the uh, AUR website here so we can just find it by typing yay and we'll see that it's right here and we would just you know copy the clone link and then uh, clone into it using git and once we've gotten it we just go into the folder and we type make pkg uh, si and then it'll start to parse it and um, uh, bring all the dependencies and stuff and then it'll build it but I'm gonna exit out of it because I already have it so once it's installed you can actually manage your entire system using just EA so let's just say we want to clear uh, all the cached packages on uh, our system right we can do a SCC command which clears the cache but not only will this uh, clear the uh, AUR packages, this will also clear the Pac-Man packages, right? So we can see that it cleared um, the Yay and the Pac-Man uh, packages. Now, this is a good thing and a bad thing. Um, I haven't experienced this, but a lot of people always warn, you know, you can break, uh, break your system using uh, Yay or any other uh, 
a wrapper around Pac-Man. But in, in my case, I found that, you know, it hasn't broken anything. The one thing that I would say is to sort of be careful what you're doing. If you're not too sure of what you're installing or what you're changing, be very, very careful. Uh, and try to, I guess, manage what is maybe an AUR package, try to use EA more for it. And if it's a Pac-Man package, try to use Pac-Man for it. But in general, I found that uh, EA kind of has strict boundaries. You know, even uh, if you try to run like two instances of it, it, it checks whether or not there's another instance running. So it is pretty safe, but you know, again, always be careful and always check uh, which packages you're installing and where they're coming from uh, because you know there is a chance I guess that you can break your system and I haven't experienced it but I've heard uh, many people say that you know you should really be careful so as long as you're careful you'll be fine I've never broken my system using yay but that's that's how you do it so those are your two options you can use a uh, wrapper around Pac-Man to uh, access the AUR or you can just directly go to it through a web browser, copy the link, uh, clone into it, and then uh, install it directly. So the, the option is really yours, but I guess EA just makes it a lot more friendly because you can also search packages too. So if we do a uh, SS, um, what can we do Brave dash bin. And you see here, it even tells you uh, that it's an AUR package, which is really, really nice. So um, it, it does have its benefits. And I guess the one thing is that you just have to um, be kind of careful with it. But other than that, it should be a smooth experience. So that's about all. I hope you found this useful.